One lazy afternoon I was browsing my Facebook like most millennials do. My attention was caught by one post which claims to help stop spread of HIV, but rather in the most peculiar way as the post reads, let's stop HIV. Please comment the hashtag number. My imagination then ran wild over the idea of posting a hashtag and its connection to stopping or preventing HIV transmission, especially for someone who is a medical professional, has studied a master's program in sociology, and is currently pursuing a master of public health. It made me ponder upon the following questions. How exactly does posting the hashtag deter HIV transmission? What theory can establish the correlation between the two remote variables? posting the hashtag and then stop HIV. According to the UN report a rise of new cases of HIV at 140% is seen in the Philippines from 2010 to 2016. This has led to a nationwide campaign against HIV slash AIDS in the country with mostly focusing on consciousness raising activities in order to heighten awareness among the healthy and risky population. Consciousness raising activities include but are not limited to health education, television and other broadcast media advertisement, and social media health promotion. Other types whose effectiveness is a bit questionable but still is being sought after by the millennials are fun runs, beauty contests and modeling. Regardless of what method to use, it is always important to know the target population so as to tailor suit the chosen health promotion activity. Anyway, the use of hashtags is part of the current popular culture considering that social media utilization is high in the postmodern times. However, how does a practice, example posting a hashtag or doing a health promotion drive, influence behaviors and possibly convert negative behavior into a positive one, example from non-use of condoms to use of condoms? For whatever the mechanism, it is equally important to have an evaluation method to quantify the extent of success in a certain chosen consciousness-raising activity. For instance, if awareness is targeted then how can we measure awareness levels of the population with respect to HIV slash AIDS knowledge of prevention? This is contrary to what most organizers of consciousness-raising activity that their success is measured on how they were able to carry out completely their activity for a certain day or days. Meeting the targeted schedule of activities is not an indicator of success as it bears no guarantee that awareness has been heightened but rather how the activities caused a positive effect on the HIV slash AIDS prevention behaviors of their targeted population. Also, it might be that the targeted population or audience remembers more the activity, example fun run or modeling, more than the consciousness raising to begin with. Conversely, this statement too is subjective and rather requires an objective evaluation or testing. I am a bit worried to this kind of misconception because of the message it creates to the public that becomes part of the popular culture. For example, after one day of posting the said hashtag, the organizers had a caravan with good-looking models promoting the hashtags either through their worn sashes or the tarpaulin wrapped around their vehicles touring the city.